everyone, it's Carly and welcome to Vlogmas Day 8. Sorry if it's a little bit echoey in here for today's video, but I thought I would bring you guys into my bathroom. It's nighttime, the day is winding down, my favorite time of the day, which is taking off all of my makeup and getting ready for bed. So I thought it'd be fun to show you guys my winter skincare routine because I'm loving a lot of new stuff. I added some new stuff into my routine that I really love to share with you guys. And these are some of my favorite videos just to like get unready with me and talk about products that I love, all of that. So if this is something that you would enjoy as well, definitely keep on watching, hit that like button. And also if you're new, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I'm doing Vlogmas all month long. So I'd love to have you here for each and every video and let's get them ready. So one of the first things that I need to do actually is take off all of my jewelry. I'm so weird, but I don't wear my wedding ring around the house. I don't know why, I just, I don't like to clean with it. I don't like to shower with it. It just freaks me out. So I always leave it there um, when I'm taking off my makeup because it just bugs me. And also ignore the nails. <laughs> this is what seven days of posting and filming looks like. It's <laughs> just like biting the crap out of my nails. So we're actually going to put our hair up. Okay, so my hair is up out of my face and the first thing that we're gonna do is start on our first cleanse and I love to do a double cleanse, especially at night, just because I really wanna get my skin really clean right before I go to bed, get off any dirt and makeup that was throughout the day on my skin. Um, and so the first thing that I love to do is go in with my Clinique Take the Day Off Balm. I switch between this and like a um, oil cleanser. Um, I just really like this for right now, it's a big case and it really helps to break up all of my makeup and just get my skin ready for my second cleanse and just really get this first layer of dirt and grime off of my face before I go in and really cleanse my face. Um, that way I know that when I'm putting on like my serums or my moisturizers or my essences, anything like that, my skin is truly, truly clean and all of the makeup is off. So this is what I look like <laughs> when I have all of my eye makeup off and all of this makeup is just like melted off. Like you can just like see the consistency. This is what we want. So now we're gonna, ooh, now we're gonna go in and wash our face. Okay, now that we're all damp, I'm just going to pat my face dry and just make sure all of the eye makeup is off and try really hard not to rub any of my sensitive areas. <laughs> it sounded extremely inappropriate. <laughs> um, try not to rub my eyes for wrinkles, basically. Okay, now that all of the makeup and everything is taken off of our skin, now we're gonna go in and cleanse it. And I really love this Vanna Cream Gentle Facial Cleanser for sensitive skin. It's one of my favorite cleansers to use. I heard about this through a dermatologist I watch on YouTube. And the reason I like it is because one, it's just super cheap and affordable, but it's also really great clean ingredients, which is really helpful because I think it's nice on cleansers, they don't stay on your skin. So you're able to just like wash them off. So while it's important to still find a cleanser that works well for your skin and invest in great skincare, I like to save my money on cleansers because I'm just washing them off. They're not staying on or penetrating into my skin, but things like essences or toners and serums, things like that that you really put on your skin and don't wash off, I think that's important to really invest in. So that's why this cleanser is a couple bucks at Target and it works well for me and I've really been loving it. So I will just work this into the skin. As you can see, it's a little bit foamy, but not anything in, like intense, which isn't gonna dry out my skin because I definitely don't want that, but I wanna feel like it's setting up and really cleaning the surface area. Now we're gonna rinse. Okay, now our skin is all cleanse and I'm honestly feeling 10 times better. So I'm just gonna pat dry very quickly and we're going to go in with our active ingredients and our toners. So what I love to use next is this Heritage Store Rose Water Facial Toner and it's almost empty which makes me really sad but it's so easy to get a hold of. I love this stuff and I recently went to get a facial and she asked to see all of the 
products that I use just to kind of see what I was using and the ingredients. And this one is great. There's no alcohol in there. There's no fragrance, nothing that's going to really irritate your skin. This is going to help with like a nice, even youthful complexion and just really even out my skin tone and get my skin nice and damp and get my skin ready for like my serums and active ingredients. I switched between these two products right here. This one is from Paula's Choice and it's an BHA liquid exfoliant. And I have been using this for the last four months and I have loved it. I will just use this three to four times a week just depending on how my skin is that week. Um, and I'll put it on a little cotton swab, put it around my face, just like you saw me do with the toner. And I love a chemical exfoliant rather than a physical exfoliant because they're a lot gentler on your skin. Physical exfoliants can be, like have a little bit of rough edges, rough edges that damage the surface of your skin. So I love this one. It helps to like unclog any pores, even out your skin tone. Those are some of my favorite words. So I use this a couple uh, times a week and at night and then and on the days that I'm not using that, I will use a vitamin C. And a vitamin C is my number one secret ingredient. It has changed the game for my skin. It's antioxidant for your skin. It's helping with dark spots. Basically, this is just helping all of my skin concerns in one little bottle. So this is from Green Tangerine, and this is the vitamin C dark spot serum. And I love this. As you can see, I've used it up. So a new one is on its way. But in the meantime, I'm just trying to get every little last drop. So I used the exfoliant last night. So tonight I'm going to be using the vitamin C serum and we're gonna get it out <laughs> and so I will just pat this into my skin and I love to do it when my skin is still a little bit damp from the toner because that's going to help push and penetrate it into the skin even further so we just pat that into the skin and also on my neck my main skin concerns right now are just the dark spots. I have a little bit of scarring from leftover acne marks. Um, so that's really what I'm trying to do at the moment. So I'm really paying attention to the ingredients that I use into my skincare, the quality as well, like I said, with like serums and exfoliants and stuff like that. It's really worth it to kind of invest a little bit more. But at the same time, not all skincare has to be like a thousand dollars. So just do your research. I've been finding it to be so much fun to learn about my skin and what works for it and getting facials. And I know that's not always like achievable for everyone. Everybody, but when you can I think it's really informative and in the long run it just helps out and I've seen such a difference in my skin so I'm definitely really happy with where it's at right now and the products that I'm using so let's keep moving on now that we've done our serum I'm gonna let that sit this is normally when I'm like flossing and brushing my teeth kind of letting it soak in but once it has I'm gonna go in with my moisturizer and this one that I, is one I actually picked up from my facialist and it's the Cacteen Balancing Moisturizer and ooh, and I love this stuff I've only been using it for a little bit but I will notice right away if my skin doesn't like something and so this has been great when I got my facial we noticed well we kind of talked about it because when I like I usually wash my face in the shower so it's kind of hot there's a, like just natural steam from the shower and when I would get out of the shower I would notice that I would have a little bit of red marks you guys can probably see a little bit but I'd have really predominant like red marks underneath my eyes and so I brought that up in the facial and she I mean, wasn't able to like completely diagnose my skin there, obviously, but from what it sounded like, it kind of sounded like early signs of like rosacea. And obviously in the winter, your skin gets dried out, it gets irritated, stuff like that. So we're just really trying to use products that hydrate my skin and moisturize it, especially in the winter months um, here in Salt Lake. So that moisturizer has been helping a ton and I absolutely love it. And lastly, to finish up, I'm just going to spray. I feel like all of my skincare products are like on the edge, um, but that's how you know I love them so much. So this is the Mario Badescu facial spray with chamomile and lavender. So I'll just give myself a few spritz. This really helps calm everything down and it also just like reminds my body that it's time to go to bed. It's time to wind down. Those scents of lavender really help relax me. So I'm going to spritz my face. And I could honestly do that for five hours. <laughs> and lastly, right before I go to bed, I will moisturize my lips. This is something that I cannot skip. I hate having dry, chapped lips, especially when I'm about to go to sleep for eight hours. So you guys have heard me rave about the Glossier Bomb.com. They're little chapsticks. So I literally have three of them because I'm so in love with them. But one of my favorite scents for the nighttime is their Mint Bomb.com. 
This one is especially my favorite. It just makes me feel so fresh and so clean, especially after I've just like brushed my teeth. So I will just put a little on my lips. And then this is one of my favorite tricks. Anytime I have any leftover, I will just throw it on my elbows. And I'm telling you, my elbows love it. I'm all hydrated, all moisturized, all relaxed, and ready for bed. I hope that you guys enjoyed seeing some of the products that I love, the new things that I've integrated, the old things that will never leave me. I will have everything linked down below if you would like to check it out. Don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you tomorrow. Good night.